All right, Dynam 70 millimeter Meteor from nitroplanes.com comes ready to fly, which of course is not ready to fly. You still got to fuss with it for a week. It's all the little tweaks of, you know, the gluing and the hardware and the control surfaces and all that kind of stuff. If you just slap it together, your plane unslaps itself mid-flight and you, you end up crashing. So it does take quite a bit of time to really make sure everything is put together solid, especially on this plane because it flies way fast. Um, that 70 millimeter ducted fan four cell is my absolute favorite uh, power system for ducted fans, period. And this one has it. And it has a straight exhaust, meaning it's just got one outlet at the back. It's not splitting it into two little jets, you know, to try and keep it scale, like an F-14 or whatever, uh, which just gives that motor more power. This means this plane is going to fly fast. But not only that, more importantly, it has acceleration. So you can just hold it on the top and do a little Nancy hand toss, and it'll actually take off. You don't need to bungee launch it. You don't need 2,000 feet of paved runway. No, just grab it from the top and full throttle and toss it. And that thing will take right off. And the large wings, the large wingspan, uh, you know, to house all that big fan unit in there just makes the plane very stable at slow speeds. Another thing that we really liked was the fact that uh, I was able to hammer on this plane, bring it down, land it, and that big four cell battery was nice and cool. So that's, again, a testimony to the power system is, is being very efficient. Nothing's getting overworked. Now, of course, like always, we did do a little modification where we added a little air intake in the canopy and then it drops down to the seat to put some more airflow over the battery. Do I recommend that? Absolutely. Is your plane running a little bit cool without it? I would still do it because why take the risk? Now, we did take the landing gear off and I'm really glad we did because after about a week of fussing around with it, trying to get it to drive straight down the street, uh, it's, you know, you can, I mean, if you're, if you really enjoy just endless tinkering, and calibrating and, and all that little detail work, then awesome. Really what this plane loves to do is just fly fast. Also, it's got, I, I'm pretty sure it's got at least a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning several times I full throttled it straight into the air and it took off and it wouldn't, uh, I mean, it'd slow down, but it kept going. Uh, we really like that it comes with a rudder. We love rudders. Uh, it keeps the plane a lot more stable for you when you get into certain situations. The elevator, that's where there's some trouble is there's some wacky hardware going on on that elevator, which is inside the rudder housing and, you know, the elevator angles down and one servo is trying to move them both. That's where your little fuss time is going to be. It's tricky to land because this airfoil is so efficient and this plane flies so fast that it, it was hard for me to circle it around and try and land it close to me because it would, it's like the Hawks guy. It just keeps gliding forever. A lot of guys ask me what's a good, you know, beginner ducted fan jet, and this would probably be one of those. I mean, you do got to watch out for the things I mentioned, you know, especially the elevator hardware. Just make sure that's working right. I definitely recommend taking the landing gear off. It's just less to break off and less hassle. Hand launch is fine. Uh, but the plane is fast and it's very solid, meaning, you know, you can crash it and tumble it, and there's not a whole lot to go wrong there. And this, again, is made by Dynam, and we got ours through nitroplanes.com.